son of a bitch. Hmm? I feel so. Nice mess of um, wood fiction. The decided to pull this old heat pipe apart. I've always wondered, because I thought there was transformer oil in these heat pipes and these heat sinks. Since the transformer oil is the best at cooling, <coughs> but apparently not, there's just some water in these things. The other heat sink slid off. This one didn't want to slide off the clamp there. It's crimped on one side. There's actually no water in here. They use water to actually transport the heat between heat sinks. Just regular old water. I was expecting mineral or transformer oil in these things. There you go. Well, water actually works quite well on that sort of setup to transfer the heat, spread it in, evenly distribute it between two uh, components, sets of components. It's actually quite a nice uh, concept there to do that. Hmm. Let's pop some batteries, eh? These are flat. Let's do some markups and make them go pop. Okay, it's live. That was like a little landmine. That was cool. Mmm, like a swan of lithium. That was exactly like a little landmine. Nice bang. And these are those little solid state electrolytic capacitors on the motherboard. Get a better shot with a camera. Unplug safety first. Oh, that seems to be a good enough view. Just before I set up again, I'll take the other two batteries. One there. That's one of I put my safety glasses on this time because it's very bright arcs. Okay, some arc glasses on. That's better. Right. You can see the pressure build up in those things. They make the best pop, I tell ya. Oh, Whoa! It vented for a bit, but it still had enough pressure to go bang. Epic bangs. There you go, as that little electrolytics are solid state and they vent the same. But there is, because I'm arcing to them, it's not in the soft spot in the aluminium at the top. Yeah, I got vented it. No, it <laughs> hit the roof. That was a nice little pop. Pop cap. Oh, there's vented. Made a farting sound. What's the BAZ? What's the BAZ doing here? I'm pulling about 12 amps on the BAZ. Better way to kill the board. Mott's okay on 15 amp ballast. Much better than a D shunter with a 15 amp ballast. So I've got the air fry up straight into it this time, not going through the ramp. I get all the power in the board. I have a clocking gone mad. I'm 
blue to start a two chip set. Look at the colour of those arcs. That blue that's in it. Plasma. Hey, is that capacitor? Ah, jumping away from the cat. Yeah, invented. Yeah, that pop okay, but not quite as loud as a regular electrolytics. Not quite as dramatic. Yeah. They say they're solid state, but they're just your regular electrolytics. Just surface mount, or um, a, a high grade. They've got a slightly different chemical compound to them, I think, so they can last longer. The rich standard temperatures are different. They're basically the same, though. Yeah, venting. Okay, it's enough. Unplug safety first. Unplug safety first. Whew, whew, something got hot. Not the mic. Alright. The mot's hot, yeah the mot's a bit hot but it's not um, just colouring or smelling or smoking. It gets equally hot but not damaging hot. Oh that's hot. Yeah. Yeah it's about the limit. Fifth in air ballast is a limit on a mot this size. You get quite some decent run time out of it before it starts smoking. And that's without the shunts. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. No, just a Panasonic when I took the shunts out. I left the shunts in that one. That's un un unmodified, that one. And there's a lithium batteries. Got like a little gauze in there. I what that gauze serves. Oh, well, that's the um, compound, like the compound layer of the battery. It's got the uh, cathode on that, on that bit. And that's the anode, the positive. Interesting. CMOS patch, she goes bang. Like a little landmine. How cool is that? It's like the uh, frag mines off Fallout. Oh, whoops. I like I burnt that tobacco. That's why it felt a bit funny. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> Hold it like that. Had the arc burning it. Whoops. Instead of a bottle cap mine, it's a bloody CMOS patch of mine. <laughs> there we go, overclocked and cooked the buggery. You can see how those caps puffed up. But the aluminium is soft enough to vent from the heat. The pressure pushes the arm hole in it. There we are, that's our overclocked board. That can be gone. Oh yeah, that's what, that, that's what that burning smell was. I smell the melamine burning underneath the heading element. It's slightly melting into the melamine. Let that sit and cool down for a while. Hmm, funky smell, burning melamine. Yep, nice burn marks on it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.